video, we will cover geoprocessing tools for multidimensional analysis in ArcGIS Pro 2.5 and improvements to the general user experience when working with multidimensional data. Working with multidimensional data sets in ArcGIS Pro allows you to find answers to your big questions. So let's walk through some of the things that you can do with multidimensional data in ArcGIS Pro. First, we will download data from the European Space Agency's Copernicus website. And here we're going to get the monthly averages for total precipitation, sea surface temperature, and we'll also select the soil temperature. And we'll select all years since 1979, and we'll use the month of January only. And here we'll take net CDF format, and then you submit your form. Once your request is processed, the data is available for download. You can save it to your computer. And you can then load this data into ArcGIS Pro as a multidimensional raster layer. First, you'll go to Add Data and Multidimensional Raster Layer. And using this tool, you can import variables as individual layers. Here, we'll import the sea surface temperature variable. You can also add the data to your map as a multidimensional multivariate raster, which means it includes multiple variables like sea surface temperature and precipitation. So you go to add data and multidimensional raster layer, and this time you'll select the multidimensional multivariate raster as the output configuration. Now when you choose the file to import, you can select multiple variables to include in the layer. Here we'll select the total precipitation and the soil temperature. You can change how you view your data through the multidimensional raster layer tab at the top of the ArcGIS Pro window. You can select which variable you want to view. Here we'll select the total precipitation. And then you can step through the different time slices for the data. So let's switch this back to the sea surface temperature and view this data using the animation button. The animation button will step through each available time for the data you're viewing so that you can see how it changes with time. You can also select a point in your map to view the value for that pixel. So here we have a temperature of 295 Kelvin, and then another at 298 Kelvin. There are several geoprocessing tools in the Image Analyst toolbox that you can use to work with multidimensional data. The aggregate multidimensional raster tool allows you to identify things such as the maximum or minimum temperature for each location over a set time period. Here we have monthly sea surface temperature, and we will calculate the maximum sea surface temperature for each year. Now we have a data set that shows us the maximum sea surface temperature for each year. The Generate Multidimensional Anomaly tool will allow you to see how much variation exists in your data. In this example, we'll use the sea surface temperature variable and analyze how much it varied above or below the mean sea surface temperature for all time intervals. Once your analysis is complete, you can review the results using the Temporal Profile tool that's located in the Analysis section of the Multidimensional Raster Layer tab. With the Profiles tool, you can select a point, line, or polygon and view the value or the average value over time. In this case, we can look at how the sea surface temperature varied from the mean over a yearly time interval. When you select your region of interest, here we'll look at a point in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, we can see how sea surface temperature varied over time. The peak here in 1983 is from the large El Nino event that occurred that year, and another El Nino event is visible in 1998. Going back to our original data set, we can change this again to view the precipitation data and look at the history of precipitation over any given region. First, we can use a summary statistics tool to calculate the maximum precipitation for each pixel over all the years included in our data set. If you want to determine when each of these maximum precipitation events occurred, 
you can use the Find Argument Statistics tool, which is located in the multidimensional tool gallery, along with several other tools. Your input for this is your original multidimensional data set. And we will select the precipitation variable and then find the maximum for that variable. Now here we can change how this is displayed so it's a little bit easier to see. And now that we have it set up like this, the light blue colors are maximum precipitation events that occurred earlier in time, and the darker blue colors are maximum precipitation events that occurred more recently. If we zoom into the United States here, we can explore this data set. Here we have a location where a maximum precipitation event occurred in 1980. And here we have a location where a maximum precipitation event occurred in 2017. Multidimensional data can also be used for trend analysis. In this example, we will use the trend tool to look at sea surface temperature over time. We will use a harmonic trend line to account for seasonal variability, but you can also use linear or polynomial trends. In the result here, we have areas in purple showing where the trend is increasing and areas in green is showing where the trend is decreasing. This tool looks at data you've already collected and does a trend analysis using the past, but you can also do trend predictions using the predict using trend raster tool and predict your trends out into the future. Here we will again use the sea surface temperature variable, and we will use that to predict yearly sea surface temperatures out to 2030 using data since 1985. Once you have your output, you can step through your results using the display tools in the multidimensional toolbar. So here we have the prediction for 2025 sea surface temperatures. With the increasing numbers of satellites that are available for data collection, multidimensional capabilities will continue to grow. There are many different ways that you can work with these data sets, and using the ArcGIS Pro multidimensional tools, you can find the answers to your important questions.